impressive knees and a beautiful flick away behind. Sky's the Limit, written by Jodie Seddon. And we've got Iron popping. Absolutely, coffee book through there. He just she picked a line up off the corner and just held him to it. And because he's got such a big stride and he's so bold, she could literally just hold him between the flags. And he was go he was always going, didn't break stride through the water, and galloping off up the hill. How much galloping pressure do you put on them on the way up the hill? I think you need to let them run to the top in their own you know in their own way. Every horse is different, and you definitely want to allow them to take a breath at the top of the hill because you've got quite a tough combination coming up. Um, very big parallel to slightly downhill to a corner, so um, you don't want them to be gasping for breath just as they come to it. So you want to have allowed them to take their second wind and then get going again. And this is a big big jump there and setting up beautifully for that corner. Really really gave him the time to assess the, the question. That was such great riding. It was really nice to see her. She had to come straighter than some, I think, at the parallel, knowing how big his stride was, because you really want to be riding and attacking the corner, which you can't do if you cut your line too tight. You can't do if you come in too quickly. No, and what was so nice to see her give him a big pat, and she just looks like she's got the biggest grin on her face, having an absolutely fabulous time. I just want to get out there and do that. Oh, hang on a second, you've got to. <laughs> Not <till tomorrow. laughs> She's just nudging away at each and every stride, you know. It, it's, it's clearly a great partnership. You've just got to keep half an hour on the clock at all times. He has got a great big gallop, but he does spend a heck of a lot of time in the air, which is a wonderful problem to have, but, again, might mean that his cover at speed across the ground has got to be that bit quicker, and he does need a little bit of organising when other horses wouldn't. Yeah, because his stride is so big, she does have to organise him um, and shorten that stride before the combination fences. So, um, as we see here, just wasting a little bit of time. Um, once she's got him, she's got him, and, and he's great, but oh, a huge jump there. Um, I think it looked like she was maybe going to add a stride, and he said, no, come on, Mum, let's just take off now. Um, and that all that, that combination sort of all comes up a bit quickly, a li bit, little bit like riding a roller coaster, but she's away and out the other side, and what she'll want to do now, she's got one let up fence, and then she's got the coffin, so she'll want to make sure she's really got him back and listening for the for the coffin and as we see here she's maybe respecting this let up vent a bit more just to say no come on listen because now there's not much of a run before we go to the coffin which we're not going to see